you want to get into this coffee? I'm in this coffee already, George. Let's Good. talk about uh, it. I I actually had to make a trip out to California for a family event. And I said, hey, I'm, I'm on location. Let me see if I could find a location. roaster right. in this area. Then I don't then we don't have to like go and go online buy. At least we we uh get from local roasters in in the areas. Came across local areas to us. Correct. Came across a coffee shop and roaster, the boy and the bear. Yes. Uh good. Oh, that there you go. Uh, I do like the logo though. I know we'll, I know we're not there yet in I the know. packaging, but I I do like that logo. So I'm gonna <laughs> show real quick because in in true fashion, uh, Greg, you probably can't see this because I don't know if you can see the screen as I flip through. But probably uh, not, but just talk me through it. If you if you scroll down in our show notes, you'll see that we have uh, I've included some pictures so that you could follow along with me. <clears throat> um, uh, thanks, teacher. And I will and I will go down through these. But the let me tell you, they they really did a good job with this building. It's beautiful. Uh, it it is a good it is a good looking building. Um, and then if you and, and I'll have all these pictures on something. I don't know. We'll probably put them on social media or something like that when we when this episode comes out. But uh, I just I like the way like it looks like they what is that called like sponge painting or something like it, some of the walls. If you look at the one where it has the shelves like these real yes, rustic yeah. looking they put shelves some texture on, on that concrete. You look behind it; it's almost like they did a gradient. Yeah, of, I see it. Of it's like some gray kind from of the bottom up. Yeah, and it and it's not yeah, it's not painted with like roller or anything like that. It looks like they took a sponge and just started going back and forth all the way down the wall, and then like the you know the paint's kind of dripping and stuff. It just makes it look like a what do they call it? Ad- Adobe, Adobo. Yeah, like yeah, like Adobe. some kind of style. But I I love the the colors and everything in the building, and then. Uh, and then just the, you know, the way they set everything up, like you see big old bags of big old bags of green beans on there. Um, if you look and click on the one, they have this picture that says Nordic Lights, cold brew, specialty Colombian coffee. Uh, Nordic the Lights. boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I see it. <clears throat> and that's again, they just like whoever whoever designed this this inner area. I just think they did a great job. They did a good job. It looks, yeah. looks it nice. It looks really good. Um, and <laughs> I'm like, there's a, there's a story behind this, how I got this coffee and, Oh, okay. Let's hear this. So we're, we got an Airbnb in Redondo beach. We're hanging out, doing all that good stuff. We finally get to the roaster. We're heading out of town. So we're getting some coffee to get on the road. I go up to the counter and I, I'm <laughs> I go up to the counter and the dude, keep in mind we're in California. So the dude still got his, <clears throat> his mask on everything. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, I said, Hey, sounds, I'm going to buy these. Like you're being, sounds like you're being judgmental, George. I'm not being judgmental. Okay. So you can see this is me supporting, uh, supporting brands here. I cop four bags, some mm, espresso, that's a lot. two bags for the show, one for you, one for me and another bag to bring home and pour up so we're out here you did the most doing the most for local roasters so this is you can't hate on that i you said hey it. what are you what do you have on drip today i just want black coffee like which one of these are you pouring any of these today right and the guy's like oh i don't know which one i said well can you can you ask the barista <laughs> the barista you don't know what was greg this is Phenomenal, Starbucks, Starbucks phenomenal they know it's on drip. Yeah, because it's like terrible. I, yeah, we got but still my we point, got Pike's though. Place, whatever. But they know what they got. <laughs> he goes and talks to the barista and says, "Hey, okay. the, the you know that guy over there, uh, that guy with the amazing beard. He just asked what we're serving for drip coffee today." And I, I'm looking at her like, look at me, and then trying to figure out the answer. And she goes, mm-hmm. uh, it's just, it's a blend. And I'm like, what? It's a, it's a blend of what? Like you're, you're a, you're a roaster and you've got 
I mean, you saw the picture. I mean, look at this. I'll, I'll even do a bigger picture of this one here. You can kind of, God damn it. Fucking paper. Here we go. So oh, yeah, I see the roaster back there. So, dude, I'm dying here. So, all right. So here's Edit the, so you, you can kind of see all the, all the stuff on the back wall there. They got coffee all over the place. And right. you're going to tell me you don't know which one you threw in the bin to get it, to get it all up today. Guess not. That must've been and, the night shift. And she says, so he comes back and I saw what she said already. So it wasn't like, I didn't know what was going on. He right. goes, you know, it's a, it's a blend of a few different, of a few different of our coffees. I said, whatever, man, just, I'll take a black coffee. Yeah. So hold on real quick. That reminds me when I was in college and my homeboy, we, I forget we was at some frat party or something. And my homeboy was like, yeah, I'm going here to smoke some weed with these white boys real quick. I said, all right, cool. He comes back. You know, we chilling for like five minutes. He, he's like, you, you got to take, take me home. I said, what? <laughs> he's like, you got to take me home. I don't know what the fuck that. I don't know what I smoked. I go, what What do you, what you just said? He goes, well, he goes, I went over and I hit it, right? And it just didn't, just, just didn't feel right. And I was like, hey, what's, what's in this joint? And he said, they go, oh, it's a blend. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly didn't know what to say. I'm here to buy coffee. And like, and look, I don't walk into roasters and go, I'm sure you've heard of it, Just a Drip. We we have a coffee podcast and, you know, we're going to sample your coffee and talk about it on the show. So I don't I don't ever do that. I just, right, I, right, I, I right, thought right. it was a pretty simple question. Plus, I was hoping what I was going to do is, is if it was a bag that I was buying, I was going to, I was going to buy the coffee, the black coffee and get a bag of it but then get two bags of whatever they weren't serving. So, so that we could, you know, we could yeah. sample some brand new sense. stuff of course. and, uh, and you know, that we haven't tasted yet. So on, up on the screen, I mean, obviously they're roasting in house. You got buckets full of green beans and a roaster and all that good stuff and could not tell me what coffee they threw in the drippy drip. That they morning. don't, they don't give a fuck. They don't uh, care pretty funny shit they're like hey check they're like hey check this out uh you're the 250th customer in the last hour we don't care i mean you you could tell this particular area of redondo beach probably hoity toity bougie people I mean, lot, yeah. tons of people walking their dogs tons yeah. of people walking their dogs everywhere they came in like people just bring their dogs right in the coffee shop don't care um and then they knew them by name like what right. I, the only that's thing why, I that's can, exactly you could see my man was like he's like this dude ain't from here i don't give a shit yeah. what coffee he it get out off of, the drip get out of california so, <laughs> so uh i get i get black coffee it's probably the easiest thing you know i i don't know uh, nolan got some nolan got some fruity but it wasn't pebbles, crazy fruity pebbles uh, it, was, it was probably a mocha mocha toka something chocolate shit and christy got oat milk latte like Easiest thing in the world. Right. So, you know, she almost went, she almost went full Karen. Cause, oh, why? Cause they forgot her order. And this is great because I actually captured um, the moment. I saw her at the counter. I captured the moment right here. Pete, and, and it says peace, love on her. Yep. <laughs> on her hoodie. Peace, peace, love world. <laughs> There's no hoodie. peace and love going on. At that moment. So she's like, Hey, you know, do you, do you have my order? And the girl, the barista in the back, she's like, oh, you're up next. You're up next. Don't worry about it. So we, <laughs> she's, Don't she's standing that. there waiting. Keep in mind, I already got my coffee. No one got his coffee and uh -huh. they're just cranking out orders. And, uh, <laughs> they get to, they get to the next order. And Christy's like, that's not my cop. That's not what I ordered. And the lady's like, what'd you order? Oat milk lot? Like literally just spaced her order somehow. And so that, that started, that started the fun stuff. So you know how it goes, Craig. Kirsty, Karen, they're both spelled with Q's. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's just a little, a little background of the actual coffee buying process. Um, Interesting. Probably long winded, but. I just, if, if, 
uh, actually, I got it. I think I got the guy's name down here. Yeah, just just real quick. When I interjected your story about the blend, I think I don't think your coffee had like any cocaine or angel dust sprinkled in it. No, it did not. So, I, yeah, I was perfectly what, fine. This is the point I was getting to. So that's why every time I hear it's a blend, I'm like, oh. <laughs> you think it's got that PCP shit, in it? That shit laced. <laughs> <laughs> Some sherm sticks. I don't know what it is. Yep. It's laced. It's a little bit of embalming fluid. No big deal. Uh, yeah, Just a little bit. It'll preserve you. Um, and just in case, we'll we'll end with this too. But Andres Pinieros, three thousand. Uh, he's the founder of, of the Boy and the Bear. Just giving okay. you a heads up. Hey, if you're if you're pouring up some stuff, you know maybe your peeps should should know should know what's what's in the mix. Uh, again, this is Boy and the Bear. Yeah. This is the Bourbon Rojo. They make a big deal about this that it okay. is. It has a fermentation of 36 hours, mm. and I'm sure our our listeners are professionals, all 9 million, and they know what the fermentation is. Uh, so I, I, I will explain for maybe the two or 3,000 subs that subscribed like last week. <laughs> two or 3,000. Uh, the fermentation, once you pick the berries, you put them in either like a big water barrels or... You cover them up with sacks or whatever, and then when you ferment them, it it'll dry out and take the cascara, yep. whatever, the cascara off the off the beans, and it'll you know do its thing and and all that. So it it like separates the mus- mucilage. I that I saw that yeah. word kept yeah. coming up. Man, when, you're doing good today, Joy. I am impressed. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> so it separates all that stuff, and then you're left with the green bean that you actually roast. So. It's not it's not fermented like a like a beer or a liquor. They just call that process of separating the bean from the from the berry, the fermenting mm-hmm. process. So this one was done for thirty six hours. I don't know if it takes longer. Maybe it maybe it affects the the taste of uh, of the coffee. I'm not well, positive it's supposed on to. that. It's supposed yeah. to, but um, <clears throat> yeah, I've got a few things to say about this coffee. Good. I think it I think according to the the tasty notes on here, right? It states uh red cherry, floral, and lime as the uh specific notes there. I will mm-hmm. say that I do I do think there's a red cherry. It's kind of a, a sour red cherry. Uh and I think it's it tastes more sour because of that acidity that they're describing possibly as lime. I don't I don't really don't taste it specifically as lime. It does mention floral, and I don't know. I don't know if that's maybe more in the nose than than kind of, you know, on the tongue or whatever. But um, for me, because of that acidity, I think um, I, I prefer this coffee cold. Like I want it all the way room temperature. I don't even want it warm. I want it like if it's 80 degrees in the room, I want that coffee at 80 degrees. Um, because it's only at that when it's pretty much all the way cooled down that I'm getting the sweetness that I think is you know, obviously the coffee is supposed to benefit from that fermentation to provide a little more sweetness um, after that that period of time. And um, it's just not as sweet as I want it to be. I think it's got a really heavy tart cherry flavor, but I wish there was a bit more sweetness there to kind of balance out the acidity there. It's just, just a bit too acidic for me. Um, but it seems like a pretty solid coffee in terms of the, uh, the body of it, right? It's, quote, juicy. I will give it that, so... I, I would, kind of my I feelings. Like it's it almost has it almost is this a medium roast or is it a light? It almost tastes more of a medium roast to me as well. Um, I would. It's actually in my notes to talk about. It, I don't. Okay. I don't know. It didn't. <clears throat> I didn't see on their website if it was uh, if it was a medium roast. I mean, the beans are beautiful. They look the great. Be- yeah. Um, there's nothing wrong with that at all, and they even look more light roast. But I can't get my my hand. I need an overhead camera like you, but. Just on the on the palate, it just tastes more well done. I guess I could say, in terms of, uh, I would agree with that. Okay, George, how do you feel about this coffee today? Um, I'll actually switch over so uh, you can see. I don't know. I I, I got a color. I got to color grade the light here. But yeah, you do. Everything everything looks pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's it, great it, looking. It roast. smells good out of the bag. Uh, what I what I wanted to get into here is the most important thing for the for the audience is they didn't list the Mazels on the website. Uh oh. <laughs> and 
you know <laughs> i forgot you are a mazel if if we're gonna do a thorough check on roasters you gotta you gotta let us know what mazels you're, uh, this is a fact. you're growing this coffee at this is so, a fact I did go to Terra Coffee producers there uh, in in Colombia. Like I said, Boy and the Bear does all their sourcing beans from Colombia, uh, and it is sixteen hundred to twenty two hundred mazels uh, where their where their farm their finca is. <clears throat> the finca. origin of the coffee is Colombia, hu- Huila in the Salado Blanco region. Man, uh, it is a point today. It is a wash process for 36 hours fermentation. They do these, the roastings in small batches of 16 kilos. 16 kilos sounds like a great deal of coffee. Um, I think on a perspective of like, you know, like a Starbucks, how many kilos do you think they're roasting? Two million? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I think I think we're looking at the grand scheme of things here. It's not like it's not like my homeboy who, you know, he gets he orders two kilos through the house and I can't you know, roast wait. those up. I can't wait till we finally get his roast and get him we on, got the, to. on the you show. Know, I'm gonna press him today. He just moved. He's he was moving houses for the last month, so he has been kind of an he his roaster is not in commission at the moment. Gotcha. Uh this bag is a twelve ounce bag and Backs. it is twenty five dollars so you saw when i had the bags lined up <clears throat> i did yeah you could do the math uh, like you i was out contributing straight benjamin on them yeah so and and we had drink orders to go with the bag so oh, i just so want to throw that out cleared there. out about a buck 20 so in case in case andres was upset about my critique of <laughs> not knowing about the coffee just know it, it's I, a blend I paid i paid for the privilege to give that critique um, mm. out of the bag, smelling it, it's had a citrus sweet smell to me, the beans, everything out of the bag. Um, it, it has a fuller coffee smell out of the bag. The beans do have a very even roast across the board. I didn't, I didn't come across any lighter or darker. Like it looks like everything's right. pretty, pretty thorough. You mentioned that it was, it, it kind of resembled more of a medium roast. And I agree with you hundred percent. The, the, if you if you look at like a, an Ethiopian or, or one of those lighter, more floral roasts, they don't have as dark of a uh, a bean look right, to them. Right, they're a right. little lighter. These ones look definitely like it might be a little medium side. Now I don't know if the medium roast adds more acidity. I would have to read it read more about you know, that. If- if, if you do some reading, um, like they say, dark roast coffees, a lot of people, the people that like dark roast coffee, it's because um, the darker you roast a coffee, the the less acidity you're going to have. So that allegedly, right? I, I think I think that what happens is when a coffee is dark roasted poorly, yeah, you might lose some of the acidity profile, but you gain a huge bitterness profile that kind of comes in and kicks your teeth in. After the brew... I've, I've said this, if you've watched all these episodes, which all 9 million of you have, um, I, get, I get that piney, piney forest smell off the, off the brew. Mm. That's nothing okay. new there. First taste. I did not get that, that, that thick mouthfeel coffee flavor on the taste. And you hinted on this as well. There's a, there's a tart bite to the coffee first sip. Mm-hmm. And that's that's hot. I mean, I you know I did two hundred five, all the good stuff. Um, in my in this new Clara, I did a one to fifteen ratio. Um, Fifty five grams of coffee, about eight hundred grams, eight hundred twenty five grams of water. I measured everything too, so I had everything dialed in. Um, it just it did. I don't know if that was like acidic citrus. You definitely get that uh, on first taste. It's not yeah. terrible, and it's not like it's not a good coffee. It's just a different a different sample which is cool because yeah. we do different coffees on every show um it's just a little if you wanted to you know if you drink the same thing every day you get bored but this is uh when they say lime i again it's not like i'm eating a lime or i'm squeezing like lime flavored water or anything but you do get you do get a citrus a citrusy taste and then yep. Yep. you you kind of nailed it too when it when it cools off then some of the it's not sugary, but some of that sweetness starts to come through as it cools off, a little less bitter, uh, and then you do get closer to a more traditional coffee uh, on the cool down. But it's kind of 
I, I like it. It's not a it's not a, a turn off or anything. It's just it's got a little tart kick when it's uh, yeah. when it's hot. Yep. Right out of the gate. So it's uh, yeah. It's definitely it's not a bad coffee at all. It's just mm-hmm. um, it's a little and I, I always so I always kind of state personal preference wise. It's a little bit too acidic for me. Um, and what I like, um, and, and just with it state, we're kind of boldly stating this 36 hour fermentation on the bag. I think I expected something that was going to be sweeter. Um, and I don't feel like I'm getting that until I really let this coffee cool down to, to room temperature. So yeah, with you too, <laughs> I didn't get, is. I didn't get any floral. I didn't not, no, I didn't get floral <clears throat> in the smells. I didn't, I didn't get it on the taste again. I think, uh, Ethiopians probably have the most floral smell and taste to them yeah yeah that, that you can get this one i didn't yeah. get that with this one but definitely you know definitely maybe a tart a tart cherry and lime uh mixture i thought yep. it was pretty good uh you want to you want to talk about this bag man i love the bag and i think it's really this um kind of this copper metallic ink that they have that really uh sets off some of the artistic you know, points here with the, yeah. the logo of the boy and the bear. And then just the berries that are on the uh, coffee plant illustration part. They just <clears> really <throat> benefit, I think, from that, that metallic copper I agree. ink and, and the bag, right? Like it, this all plays into the, what you, sh- those images you showed of the shop, right? It just has this, yeah. it, it's like black with some, you know, shiny accents and then these like earth tone tans that are going on. And it's interesting, I was reading on the side of the bag, they have the black store, which is the one you went to, then the gray store, and then the white store. So they only see shades of gray. <laughs> well, maybe not, really. And they have the black store and the white store. So I love that. I love that. Um, I agree with you 100%. I love the copper accent color on this bag. It looks, it looks beautiful. Yeah, it's uh, awesome. It do, they bag. do pick it up. Um, I didn't buy one of the pins in the store, it was in one of the pictures that I put on on the notes, but uh, you know the, the the merch game they got on point. I mean, they who there there is a designer somewhere in yeah. the hierarchy of this. I don't know if Andres, the guy that founded the place, is a Andres designer. Yeah, he might I don't be. know if he's a designer or maybe maybe someone in his family or a close or a co founder or something like that. But it's yeah, but it's they're really beautiful. they've got the they've got that. <laughs> aesthetic right down yeah. like they have that visual brand that feeling they want to communicate of the coffee shop down pat it makes so you're saying i went to oh i was at the i was at the black store so maybe the white store has like white base colors and then c- still has copper accents possible and stuff like that yeah i would have yeah, it would be nice gotta to go, see i gotta see if they got pictures of those other stores uh on uh on the line um, the Black Store is located at 350 North Pacific Coast Highway, Redondo Beach, California, 90277. You can pick up your Boy, the Boy, and the Bear uh, coffee at theboyandthebear.com. So, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm happy for him. Good work, I would good like work to, I guess I could have I, I spent some time ahead of time and went to the website to see what the heck how they why they named it the boy and the bear but i'll have to look into that on my own time that would yeah yeah you get you know what audience go ahead and go out review why they why they did that uh and then a message from the the founder andres pineros the boy and the bear coffee Hmm. roastery is a magical surrealism of the colombian coffee experience and its culture behind it so that's a that's a quote from uh mr pineros all right. I mean, I can't argue with them. When you use a phrase like magical surrealism, who am I to interject? Thank you. 